KPS parent is upset after she says she was told the district doesn't have to provide soap for students to wash their hands. As 16 WAPT Scott Simmons reports, it raises eyebrows about keeping kids from spreading germs and preventing the flu. While the CDC is investigating an outbreak of Introvirus 68 in 11 different states, parents here are concerned about whether there is enough soap in JPS schools. I will say this, that we absolutely have soap available and warm water available in our schools. It is part of what we do each and every day. Uh, and that we, can, that we ask uh, that, that hand sanitizer be a supplement to that. Not the case at several schools where students and teachers told us some bathrooms have hand soap, others do not. Health officials warn that students should use regular hand washing to prevent the spread of viruses and germs. You like to have the soap, the soap there, uh, but if they got plenty of the alcohol-based stuff, um, that's good. Dr. Skip Nolan is the director of the Division of Infectious Diseases at UMC. He says hand sanitizer will work in general, but ideally, after restroom use, everyone, including students, should use soap and water to wash their hands. It's difficult to get kids that age to wash their hands. Period. Uh, even after going to the bathroom. But yes, ideally, you would like to have um, the liquid soap for the kids to use in the bathroom. And, and particularly after using the restroom, you'd like to have them using uh, soap and water. That's just good hygiene. Dr. Nolan says to prevent the spread of germs, hand sanitizers do work better than washing with soap and water. But it often comes down to doing a thorough job with either one. In Jackson, Scott Simmons, 16 WAPT News. Dr. Nolan says to do a thorough job of washing your hands, you need to do it for at least 20 seconds. A good way to do that is to sing the happy birthday song while you wash up.